Today is April 30th, 2022. It's a Saturday, camping up at the East Branch, Sakandaga River, uh, Campsite 5, much the tradition. Uh, it's usually my first trip of the year for the summer season. I like it up here because it's always, um, the road up here is good hard gravel, so it's not going to, you know, sink from here back to, uh, from here to 8. And if there's snow, it's, you're not far from the road. And uh, it's also, it's good clear sight. The uh, fire pit's away from many trees and isn't any nearby grass, so you don't have to worry about fires so much. Although it's dry enough and windy that um, I, I won't burn anything till after dark. I mean, last night I had a very small, pretty small fire. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was fine. I just made sure it was out cold. And uh, there was no breeze by uh, the time I got the fire started, but uh, yeah, so it's pretty much the same. I mean, if you see a video of uh, me camping up here at Campsite 5 on the East Branch, you've probably seen this campsite a million times. But as I said, this is usually my first camping trip of the year. Uh, it's a beautiful weekend, bright blue skies. In the 50s, we'll at least be soon. Um, not super cold, that breeze is kind of achy. It is quite dry out. I mean, the humidity is low, although I've, I've reached to the soil I and mean, the ground itself is fairly damp. But, I mean, I wouldn't have a fire if it wasn't, uh, you know, if I didn't think the soil was damp, there's a real risk. But uh, still, I'm careful it won't burn anything in the daylight just because of, you know, at night it gets a lot more humid. And uh, also at night, there's no, the wind really dies down. And, uh, the other thing is just, uh, you know, if, there were, if anything were to catch on fire, you, you could spot it right away in the dark. Like in the daytime, you might not catch something that's, you know, if an ember, you know, or whatever comes flies off. But yeah, that red's still choking along. Uh, this will be his 11th, um, I think it's 11th summer. Um, maybe, maybe 10th, I'm not sure. But, uh, there are the new tires and the alignment work and all the other parts I put into it last fall. Hope to keep them chugging along for another couple of years. Um, gas is expensive. Uh, I went to the cheap gas, the cheaper gas station I normally do is nearby my house. It actually has the good price to use a debit card usually, and it's the top tier fuel, which is you know. A little, little bit, you know, a little bit more has better detergent, so it's better for the engine. But it was still, it was 4.29 a gallon, and I mean that's actually relatively cheap right now. There's a lot of gas stations that are 4, you know, 4.35, 4.40. You can even see a little above that, I mean, even 4.45. At least they don't drive a diesel. Uh, one of my uh, uh, people I went to high school with um, runs a logging company. And she was saying that she was putting diesel, on-road diesel, into one of her trucks, and uh, they paid six dollars a gallon for diesel. It's pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go out for a walk. I'm just gonna walk along the road. I was out early this morning uh, with the binoculars down by uh, the swimming hole in the old roads of, um, of Fox Lair. There, just checking it out, see what wildlife birds, if there any turkeys around. Didn't see anything. Uh, tomorrow I probably won't get to do another hike just because it will be the first day of spring turkey and I don't have my turkey permit this year so I'll leave, leave the hunters to do their thing but yeah it's a beautiful day just a little chilly and the road noise is always annoying for being on East Branch that's why I don't camp here in the summer I only camp here on the shoulder seas just because of you know a fairly good site to be camping when it's either dry or um when it's uh you know it could be muddy or uh, snow but uh yeah glad glad to see the camping season started for 2022 and uh yeah almost at four minutes so i'll shut things off